Hello everyone, Atraman John here, and welcome to an 8-man with green-white megamorph. Mm -hmm. This hand seems beautiful. Yeah, as a shift lands about randomly. It's Especially not the complete on the nutter butters, because it doesn't have hanger back. It doesn't but. have hanger back, and it doesn't have Gideon, but it does curve into th up all the way up to 3 mana, which is just nice. Okay, hi. How's it going? <laughs> Oh, another land. Okay. Swing. Okay. Gotta pump, because if he has command, we don't want to get blown out. Exactly. So, in the next turn, we can either go Warden Pump, which might be the case now that he's done that, or we either get do that or we do Death Mist. I'm thinking it's second one pump. The second one. Lose to Jermaka's command? Yeah, probably better to just do the death mist. Yeah, I think so. It's safe, it's safe reverse Jermaka's command. I don't know if he's on uh, Abzan or Green White right now. That's the thing. Abzan doesn't run that many wardens, do they? Yes, they do. They run. It's basically Green White Splash Black for Anafenza, Abzan Charm, Stamp and. One? Rhino. Yeah, snap block. Okay. Thanks. Oh. Yep. So, perfect mirror then. Alright. Oh. Well, the mirror breaker. <laughs> yeah, that is. Alright. I'm gonna smash and trade with him. Yep. Then because get then I get to play two guys. Oh, not Face down go. Raptor, maybe? Um. It's. It's worth considering doing a face down. Um, the issue is it dies to Dromoka's command then. Versus trading with Dromoka's command. Which is why I think I want to just do a face up. Let's say he has Dromoka's command. Does he fight a warden or does he fight that? That's the question then is what you're saying? Um, yeah. I think he'd fight that because it'd be trying to trigger to get this. So let's play it face up to ensure wingmate rock next turn, I guess. Yes. So I'm gonna just jam everything because there's no good removal main board in the mirror. Yeah, losing a little value, but wingmate is kind of the key here. Right. The moment you hit wingmate in this match, it's just like, oh my! Well, guess what just happened? <laughs> yeah. This is the mirror, except we have the avatars over the other stuff. He could have Dromoka's command here. But he we'll has to still do it before get... attacks. What? He has to do it before attacks if he does. Well, even if he does it before attacks, we still get to swing with something. Yeah. So, like, I just swing with these two. And now I just cease to care. I don't know if I like the Warden swing. I'm, I actually like it because now this can't go Dromoka's Command to kill our Wingmate Rock. Fair enough. It's putting on a ton of pressure. Right. Part of this deck is just making certain you always have pressure for your opponent. Which is what yeah. Wingmate Rock does. Because now he's dead to Gideon, he's dead to a lot of things. Even if he has Wingmate Rock. Okay, so he has a Valorous Stance. Which, the original list ran a Valorous Stance in the main, so that makes sense. I'm going to block his bird, but then he's going to play a Wingmate Rock. It's going to get awkward. Or I'm going to block his Dragon Slayer, and he's going to crack to play Wingmate Rock. Yeah. Um, this swing with the deafness though, and then Nissa might do stuff. Right. Yeah. Oh, Nissa, Nissa. Okay, so Nissa flips next turn. So yeah. I get to swing with Death Mist, play Nissa, upgrade Warden. Yeah, we want to play the Forest because Fetch Land will give two Nissa triggers in case he. Right. In case he tries to murder it. Yeah. Though, there's no real instant speed removal that can kill Nissa well, in this. command, of course. Uh, sure, command. Yeah, there's four commands in each deck, so. Okay, mm. so he's gonna go to eight. I will just block here. Prevent some damage. Roka's command plus one fight Nissa makes it not great. Yeah, I mean, it is an option, but... I don't think you should have blocked. Plus one fight Warden. Um, yeah, you should not have blocked because... I can pump the warden in response and it'll kill his yeah. bird. 
Oh wait, no, which wait, which one's getting the plus this must be getting the plus one, this must be doing the fighting. Gotcha. Uh never mind then. I don't want to pump warden. We're not doing anything else. Are you sure what's what's going on? Okay, so as you can see it's targeting two things. Mm-hmm. So this is targeting all three of these. So it must be the plus one, plus one on the wingmate rock, and then the bird's fighting my warden. The bird token. There's no reason not to pump it. I mean, I'll still pump safe. the warden, but it's just I know that that's not doing much. Okay. Is the thing. So we take three. So we take three. We play fetch land. We flip Nissa. And they get to silk wrap a bird, which is nice. Oh, uh, you want to attack? I wanted to attack with Nissa, you're right. Yeah. Alright, well, I'm going to plus Nissa. Draw a hanger back walker. Not bad. Not bad at all. So, I smash with this. I play a silk wrap, eat the bird. Yep. And then I play a hanger back for two. Hopefully that two damage doesn't matter. It probably will. For some reason. I don't know why, but it's probably going to. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be fair, if I had not blocked with the bird, he might have just been dead. Yeah. Uh, I didn't like that block. <laughs> yeah. That was a bad block on my part, so. Let's see if he goes at us. Okay. Uh -huh. It makes sense to kill the Nissa. So, like, right now that two damage is actually very critical if he doesn't play another card. Yep, yep, yep. Oh. Well, alright, that's something. Put him to one, so he can't crack his fetch right now until he's, uh done the stuff with his rock, until his rock is attacked. Hopefully this should be enough. That would be the hope. Unless he has, like, Dramoka's Command, Dramoka's Command to just wipe out the birds, but then he's at one still. Okay. He one. has one. <laughs> There's one Dramoka's Command. Alright. Okay. So even with a mistake or so, I still had the better draw, I guess. Yeah. Well, we were on the play, too. Right, which is a the big thing in this. Big thing. Dragon Slayer doesn't do anything. Gideon's Reproach, though. Gideon's Reproach does. Um, Valor Stance kills... Swingmates? Wingmates. Can also kill, like, flipped death mists. That's very rare, I think. Oh, yeah. Tragic Arrogance is the other big one. So it's, it's like these five cards are the ones you bring in. Mm -hmm. So, um, just for my own note-taking purposes. So for the Mirror... I'm boarding out, or I'm boarding in, plus one reproach, plus two snare, plus two arrogant, or tragic. Now the question is, what do I board out? It's probably the avatars? I don't know how the question. board is. I don't, I've never really gotten to do the mirror before, that's the awkward Really? Thing. Okay. That's the awkward part. That's why I have to figure this one out here. It's actually something I have to figure out. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm assuming he's bringing in extra silk wrap, so I'd probably board down one hanger back. One. Not not more than one, but one. Um, i probably board down the avatars. I'm trying to think what... I mean, they block wingmate rock, but beyond that, they're kind of meh. Mm. Actually, i probably board down a silk wrap. Because I'm bringing in two snares. Actually, I think if it's the complete mirror. Well, snare hits Gideon and Wingmate Rock, which is very important. Mm -hmm. I think I go like that. And shave a Death Mist. Yeah, so um, we're saying minus one Death Mist, minus one Hanger, minus one Silk, minus two Avatar. Isn't there any big article by some pro? Oh, there probably is, but do you really want me looking that up in the middle of a video? No, in the middle of a video, but maybe S later. Something to look up later, yeah. On the draw, I think this is a fine hand. Yeah. So we'll keep this on the draw.
If it was on the yeah. play, it's crap. But on the draw, this is a fine hand. Yeah, so for our viewers, don't yell at us for not knowing the mirror. The warden's fine. Warden is perfectly fine. Tragic arrogance will be great at some point. <laughs> at some point. Warden into tap land is even better for us. Alright. Mm -hmm. Um... I think I'm going to play this and go our tap land. Okay. Because... I don't, like, actively have to silk wrap that Warden unless he pumps it next turn, at which point I'm snap silk wrapping that Warden. <laughs> yeah, okay, so now I'm going to silk wrap that Warden because he's invested plenty of mana into it. <laughs> snap, silk wrap, snack wrap? S yeah, it's, it's snack wrap that Warden. <laughs> because <laughs> apparently that's a thing. Um, yeah. Whoop. Ideal like draw, land. Well, that's why I like Nissa. Yeah, but I think I don't want him to go for us to go Nissa and for him to because he's he's stuck on lands. So yeah. because we saw that he missed a land drop, and I'd rather bank on drawing a land which we have twenty one still in the deck at that point, uh -huh. um, versus banking on um, him potentially having a Dramokas command. That's the thing. So, like, now I get to zero Gideon, and if he has a Dromoka's command, it doesn't kill Gideon. Mm -hmm. So. I, I just meant, that's why I like Nissa in the deck. Oh, okay. Because it gives um, you just that... I think Gideon can go to one. Sure. It's no different than being at three or something. I mean, the difference being he can't emblem, but he's going to be rumbling in anyways, so. Oh, well, our opponent's fucked. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty good. Turns out when you curve out landwise, and your opponent gets stuck at two, it doesn't matter how the mirror's going, because you're winning it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's like, well, if your opponent's stuck at two, you're winning the mirror no matter what. That was easy. Well, that was much shorter than I expected, so let's give a brief deck tech, because we'll just throw it all in as one. Oh, okay. So, we're playing Green White Megamorph, as you already saw! Yay! So, our version's slightly different than the version you may have seen, but only slightly. Um, we have the classic four Wardens, four Den Protectors, four Death Mists, four Gideons, three Wingmates, four Hangerbacks, four Dromokas Commands. So that's all classic. <laughs> we're running two Nissa instead of three, which I believe to be the right number from my testing so far. Because I am now, how I'm now fifth, no, fourteen and five with this deck. Yeah. So, um, let's see, green white mirror. <laughs> Sorry, logging things in. Um, so most decks that I saw ran two silk wraps. I'm running a third silk wrap, which I it's find to be so good. It is extremely good for like every deck out there outside of ramp decks. Yeah. So, and then um. We're, <laughs> And then we're running Avatar of the Resolute instead of Mainboard Hidden Dragon Slayers. It's and a little hedge to Mantis Rider. It's a hedge to Mantis Rider. It comes in as a 4-3 a decent bit of the time because of a Hangerback Walker. If you mm -hmm. go Hangerback Walker into that thing, you have a 4-3 Trampler on turn and, 3. Yeah, and if it ever is a 5-4, it's just Tarmogoyf. Right. So... So, main board, most everything's <laughs> the same. Um, I'm only running two Flood Strands. It's a choice. You can run three if you want. Doesn't really change anything. Three Vistas is what's normal, so... Because you really don't want Vista in your opening hand if you can help it. Mm. Uh, brief look at the sideboard here. Our sideboard's slightly different. We're running one Gideon's Reproach, which is something that is in most sideboards. Our Hidden Dragon Slayers were moved to the side, because you still need them versus the decks with the big bulky creatures at their top ends. Um, we have one Mastery of the Unseen, the Three Surge... The two Valorous Stance. Usually there's a mainboard Valorous Stance. We're, I'm running two Stasis Snare because the card's just good. <laughs> um, two Tragic Arrogance and two Whisperwood Elementals. So, you know, things to look for. These come in against the Control Match. These come in in the Mirror and Abzan and Jeskai. And, no, they don't come in in Jeskai. No. They come in in the Mirror and Abzan where, they get, where the match gets grindy and then suddenly you're just like... So, it's like five creatures on each side. Kill everything, my hangerbacks will explode. 
Yeah. <laughs> um, it's just another butter card, and yeah. Overall, I'm loving the deck. It's just an amazing deck. I think it's like, what did you guys compare it to? Uh, well, we compared it to Cobblade, but obviously it's not as good as Cobblade, but it's I think sure. it's dominant in the format right now. It seems to be crushing everything. Yeah, it's far, from my testing, which I can even bring that up on the screen here. One second, let me grab that. So this is the list of my testing so far. Um, so, I've played 19 matches with this deck, um, and I am 3 overs Jeskai, 4 overs Abzan, 1-0 in the mirror, <laughs> and the only thing I've lost to is... Garbage. Garbage, ramp decks, and bant tokens, because I was like, what am I facing? And then I'm like, oh, that's what I'm facing. Mm -hmm. So, you know... Big plus of this is that it has a very strong Jeskai Black matchup. Yes, I think that's a. I think pre board it's like seventy five twenty five versus Jeskai Black. Yeah, it's just unfair. They can't beat Wingmate Rock. They have a very hard time beating Jermoka's Command, a, a well timed Jermoka's Command, and then right. Den Protectors. If it ever gets grindy, they just can't beat that either. So right. there's like three cards they can't beat. <laughs> um, they have trouble versus Gideon. They have oh yeah, trouble Gideon versus too. Jeez, they have about... trouble versus everything in the deck. Your hangerbacks are better than theirs if they're playing that version. Right. It's just it's an unfair it's match filthy. for them. And then post board, it just gets even better <laughs> because you bring in like surges if you need to. If they're playing more red creatures, if they're not, you're still just bringing it. You don't even have to board that much versus them. You're just mm -hmm. like oh. Board in two cards because this is already like my best match ever. Mm -hmm. So, and this deck is very good. Actually, this deck's best match is any deck that's being greedy, which is yep. Just Guy Black, which is Abzan, yep. which is everything basically in the current format. Because what this deck does is it will consistently carve out on your opponents. And that consistency is what's crushing everything in the format. Yep. So, anyways, we'll see you all in round two.